exciting here in D.C. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Heavyweight fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Your referee, right. he's the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. That landed. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Wow. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. And that one certainly found the target. Big shot lands for both guys. Continuing to go to the head. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, nice kick. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Sidekick. Oh, he didn't like that one. The right hand just misses. See some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he has a big oh, his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tapped to try to find that shot again. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Well, he is at his kickboxing desk tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, there's uppercut. Yeah. 
check that last one. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Oh, and another nice combination, just absolutely picking him apart on the feet. I'd probably tap him due to strikes. I time. mean, he is destroying him, but don't sell yourself short. Uh, if you don't tap the strikes, you go never. to sleep, John. But this guy has been putting combinations. Oh, his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. Coming high. And now he's got a first bad. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Nice, solid punch to end. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Establishing the jab here. 20 seconds left. Lands the inside leg kick there. Final seconds here of round one. Second round, straight ahead. Work. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Go. Second round here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. That kick blocked by Lee. Trying to establish that jab. Nice jab by Lee. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, nice body shot. Big right hand. Leg kick. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later on? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Oh, big head kick there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to fight because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. And now the jab gets through. Let those hands go. 
tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over two minutes to go. Lee gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Oh, big shot, man. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Nice straight punch. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to cut that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Both fighters throwing heat now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, the best you'll ever see. You don't really stand 
after you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big right hand there. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Well, oh! Oh, we're getting the finish here. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. That was a slick transition. All right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Massive shot from the top. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Cable of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Able to check that kick as well. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Quick jab lands there. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Nice kick to the body. Under 20 seconds now to go. 15 seconds. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Four. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, his leg is clearly compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys are so tough that when you are able to visually see someone react to the damage, react to the pain, it tells you how hard or how much effect the strikes have taken on them. Right now, we are seeing him limping because he's been kicked so much. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, a big left hand. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, nice. 
Throwing that jab, no good. Man, that cut has really opened up. Lee gets hit with a kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Big punch lands through the middle. Land with the inside leg kick. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. He's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, oh massive diving punch flush to the head. Good work from the top here by Lee. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Connected with a solid punch right there. Oh! Oh, right hand! Big left hand there inside. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock this fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't run. Oh, he's gotta grab him. He's gotta recover. I start this. You gotta fight back in there. Mm, nice. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground attack. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Leaves in half guard. Making all these shots count. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. 20 seconds left. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can huh. save this fighter from himself. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut Ready. because then the blood starts to Ready. come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. That's what that is? That's what that is. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Like that. 
this is where he wants to do this. All right, so when is too much too much? Oh! Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And can